today i'm going to show you how to make a line graph as promised in my last video i'll be quantifying the fluorescence intensity and we'll make a maximum projection so here we have a maximum projected image And for the quantification, we will split the channel. And to split the channel, we go to image, color, split channel. Here we have our channel split into the bright field and the fluorescence field. Next, we will draw a line across our sample. And we can place this... Uh, line this straight line on our fluorescence sample clicking on ctrl e that on ctrl e to paste this line that we drew on the right field onto the fluorescence channel and to plot our line graph we go to analyze plot profile and here we can see each of these peak on the graph corresponding to the fluorescence intensity in the in our sample we go to data uh, more legend so we would you can uh, give it a title that you want so nuclei intensity so we could put this at the bottom we use the legend to increase the font size we go to more assets option and here we can let's give our uh, font size to be 16 and our label as 18 to demarcate it from the font and also we want the label to be bold so here you have your legend as bold graph we can increase its uh, size by going to content style here it will ask you for the line width you like and we can make it about if we make it two can you see that it increased the intensity the brightness and the thickness here we have three you can increase it to the preferable size you would like to display mm -hmm. so for this purpose of tutorial i will and our label is still nuclear intensity we could put this in capital and there we have our nuclear intensity and the distance in micron we can freeze this plot because this plot is uh as it is currently it's in life mode so if you drag your mouse you can see the graph moving about so you see we go to line mode to change the the graph will be affected as you move your line that you drew around your sample so because you don't want to you don't want a sample that is uh, moving about you can freeze this plot by going to more high resolution plot and if you move your mouse it's not going to move this plot because it's frozen already and export the values of this plot to excel file so that we could have a copy that we can work with later you go to data save data and we can call this we can save this on the desktop and call it a line plot line plot so the applying graph has been saved the values has been saved and a high resolution plot you can leave your plot has a white and black background also you could uh, change the color to match the color of your fluorescence if you're having a red fluorescence you can choose a red and if you're having a green for the purpose of this tutorial we we'll stick with green 
you could see that when we selected green the background became green and the line graph is the line uh, plot is still in black to invert this to have the graph the line graph as green and the background as black you just have to go to loop invert loop automatically it changes the background with the line graph and you have this beautiful plot which you can then save as a jpeg or whatever file format you will prefer to work with so i'll still be saving this on the desktop i'll close this now to be best to freeze this line on top of the image you go to image overlay and then you flatten the line into the image so here we have a graph that we cannot move the the line about and here you can by using your upper arrow key you can move your line about so that's why it's good to flatten the line to overlay the uh, line over the image and now we'll be adding a scale bar to this image as shown before so using my pen micron and we're going to increase the height of our plot to 12 and we'll increase the font to eight, uh, 16 to match the font we'll be showing with the graph and also you can decide which direction you want your scale bar to be if you want it to be at the upper right or lower right or the lower left so i'll leave it as lower right and save now i export my file I save my file as a jpeg for final use and also you can change your graph this picture to be green so this is the value of a line plot that we saved the data earlier and we could also come to the excel file to plot our line graph here we have our line graph we can change the color to green and you can edit the font size to whatever it is you prefer to work with and uh, export it once you are done with the beautification of the graph you can save this as picture and I will save it to the desktop so here is the sample we quantified here is the here's the line graph we drew with the image software and here is the one we plotted on excel file so you see it's easy to draw a line graph on image j i hope you find this tutorial easy for you to use and please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much for your support